What's up everyone, Tina here. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the phone number settings. So let's get started. So first you want to hover over to settings on the bottom left. Then you want to select phone numbers on the left. If you do not have a phone number just yet, just hit the add number button, click add phone number and select the country where you want to purchase a phone number, proceed to buy, and then the phone number will show up just right here. Now to access the settings, click on the three dots, click on edit configuration. And here you can see your phone number. You can rename your phone number to the name of your business, for example. So instead of the number showing up on your phone, when somebody calls you, your business name will show up. Which brings us to the next step. Would you like to forward these calls? If so, where to? So here I would put my mobile phone number so that I can receive calls when people call this particular number. If you check this particular box, that means your name or your business phone number will appear on your screen and not the caller ID. I found that very handy because that way I know, okay, this phone call is business. So this next option is only applicable for verified numbers. So basically what this means is that your number shows as the caller ID in outbound calls. If you call somebody, your phone number will show up on their phone. Next up, enable call connect feature. This means that the feature mandates the receiver to press any key to establish the connection for the call. So if they don't press any key, the call doesn't get through. Next up is the whisper message. A whisper message is something like, you have a call from your agency name. So whenever you pick up the phone, you press any key, you pick up the phone, you take the call, and then the whisper message gets played, which says, hey, you have a new call from your agency name. Next up is the call recording. If you check mark this, the system automatically records the call for quality purposes. Another cool thing is it immediately saves the recording in the conversations tab within that particular contact. So if you go to conversations and you select a contact that you've just called or that just called you, you will see this green phone icon right here. And that means the call recording has also been stored under reporting. If you turn this on, please make sure that this actually also requires a whisper message, such as this call will be recorded for quality purposes, so the person knows they are being recorded. Next up is the incoming call timeout and the outgoing call timeout. What does that mean? Well, if somebody rings the number you've just purchased, how many seconds do you want it to ring before timing out? So for example, if you're forwarding these calls to your personal phone and you have a separate voicemail for your personal phone and you don't want these people to hear your personal voicemail, then you want to change this to four seconds to make sure that these people never hear that voicemail. Alternatively, if you want to send all of these calls straight to voicemail, then you just want to change this to one second. And outgoing call time means how long do you want the phone to ring until it drops out so you can move on to the next person. Let's say 60 seconds. If somebody didn't pick up for 60 seconds, we move on to the next lead. So if you wanted to have a voicemail, remember you can hover over to your business profile and then upload your voicemail right there as an mp3 file. Next up is the ring incoming call to all users. On the drop down menu, you can select your user. And what that means is all the calls will be forwarded to the user select this channel web app or mobile app. But if both are selected in user settings, then only the web app will ring. And just to show you real quick on the business profile, you scroll down and here you can upload your voicemail. That's it already about the phone number settings. If you've got any questions, just let us know.